533 now lawmakers wrapping up the final evening of the 2023 legislative session yesterday a vote many have been keeping eyes on was senate bill 5536 all right so this bill would have made possession of drugs a gross misdemeanor and provide people with several paths to get help with addiction it failed to pass the house last night 55 voting no and then 43 yes votes but our nikki torres joining live from everett this morning to talk about this nikki we have talked before about how the city is trying to implement their own ordinance so is this decision going to affect that? Right, so if that bill had passed, it would have taken the place of local drug possession laws that goes for cities, towns, and counties. However, because that bill failed, everyone is going to keep their own ordinances when it comes to public drug use. And now, the city of Everett, they are working on their own as well. Now, there are cities already with their own rules when it comes to public drug use, drug possession. That goes for Kent, Bellingham, Lakewood, and Marysville. Some state Democrats voted no on the bill yesterday, saying, harsher penalties will not dissuade people from using drugs, but would rather have unintended consequences. State Republicans who voted no, they say that the bill would have taken away all local control over public drug use. Those who voted yes, they argue that there are bigger risks for more drug use on our streets. Governor Jay Inslee was in favor of the compromise bill, saying that it avoided decriminalization while also providing options for treatment. It is unacceptable to the state of Washington to decriminalize drugs. And in the absence of passage of a bill, that's what would happen in the state of Washington. The current law making drug possession a simple misdemeanor is set to expire this year on July 1st. Now, it is possible that the governor could also call a special session to address the issue before them. We do have a list right now on our website, fox13seattle.com, of all of the new state laws that will go into effect. That's live right now on our website. You can check that out this morning. We're live in Everett. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.